Welcome. Hello YouTube. Hello friends. And if you're watching, hello Casper, my friend. <laughs> I have something special in my hands. And I'm about to show you. So over the last six months, I've spoken back and forth with a Danish skilled blacksmith called Casper. He, I don't know if he runs or if he is or if there's anybody else, but uh, he is. He's called um, Peters Spinner. Um, it's a blacksmithing workshop. He does old school blacksmithing. Um, I would say anything from nails to pots and pans and cookware hanging. Casper does a lot, but for, for me to explain that, uh, I would have to dig a bit more in into if he is the company or if there's more people hired there. Regardless, Peter's Minna or Peter's Minna. Um, and, and the blacksmith is called Casper. We met each other um, during <laughs> something silly. We have in Denmark an, an axe community called, in Danish it's called Hagedrangne, in English it's called Chopping Boys, but it has to be in Danish but it, because it, it is affiliated with the same thing as you put in a burger. The burger steak in Denmark is called a Hagedrein. So, I met Casper, and uh, if you've seen more of my videos, you would have heard me mention Oliver. Casper uh, and Oliver has been making a small camp axe or something larger, or uh, a wedge banging axe, and I have been looking at and the I have been looking at these axes and thinking. Well, what would it take? What would it take for my mind to go out of my mouth with help from pictures to Casper saying axe head? And I did. Casper <laughs> um, did a model for a Danish customer. Uh, a few months back, we took that as the example. We added some English Elwell, we added some Plum National pattern or the National pattern, um, and we came up with this. Long cutting edge with a welded in piece of steel, maker's mark, logo, very subtle. The chamfering from the plum, the head shape, a bit more English Elwell, three pounds, just shy of three pounds. So 1350 grams So Episode 1 boys and girls the axe and I'm going to pause you here and I'm going to cue a small video montage of Casper doing this and bear in mind Casper is a blacksmith his hands wield 1300 degrees warm iron and steel and hammers he is not a videographer so bear in mind this is made from Casper's phone 
maybe on a tripod or maybe on a bucket. I don't give a hoot about it. This is for me to show you how this went from a lump of steel to an axe head. Let's go. So I'm assuming that my skilled editing skills managed to put together a video montage of, of this being made. And if not, I did my very best. But uh, I think I'll whip something up. Um, step two of building this. It's a handle. Um, this is going to be an all Danish product. This is going to be an all Danish made axe. This is going to be forged in Denmark, hung in Denmark and draped with leather made in Denmark. I'm not sure if the leather, the raw material is made in Denmark and I don't care. but. The leather sheath is going to be hand sewn here in Denmark. This is going to be my go to cam bags for anything. 1350 grams is strong enough to bust through almost anything out here. But how long? How long is the handle going to be? I brought something. If you know me, you know I own a Hoffman axe. I actually own two. But who's counting? This is a flawless Liam Hoffman 24 inch hickory, beautiful grained, if you can see, running absolutely parallel both directions. Curved just slightly. 24 inch cam backs. Could I fit this? Well, How does this look? <laughs> I, I, I didn't plan this. I, di I didn't try this until five minutes before I turned on the camera. But, but look at this.
this is not going to be the handle for it, but but I think this is the length that we're going for. It has a slight feel of the L-well and the balance point. <laughs> The balance point on a 24 inch piece of hickory is an inch behind the head. If I twist my finger, it rolls that way. If I twist my finger, it rolls that way. So I think, I think, I think I'm shipping Oliver this as a blanket. Uh, not a blanket yet. <laughs> That's something you wear when you're sleeping as a template. Sorry. But Casper, from head to axe in the woods, no sharpening, hung with another axe. <laughs> um, I think this is. Yeah, I think this is cool. I really do. I think if I pound it on this and drove in a mad wedge, this would actually fit. But this is too small. The eye is too small. And off she comes. Yeah, not a lot of contact. So, this and this could never go together. But I think, I think something in the shape of this would be wonderful. And I promise this is not a copy. Um, if, if you have an axe handle you like, I would, I would say that you would draw it on some timber and you would cut something and it would never be the same and, but it would feel good in your hands, you would know the shape. I know this. The axe I hung it with is also No, it's not. I almost thought that it was it was the same size. It's not. This would be 19 perhaps or 20. 19. Sorry. But a 24 inch handle. For this beautiful beautiful axe head. I can't even wait. And you know me, I always ramble about anything. My next door neighbor is an old man called Eric. He used to work when he was a young boy at a blacksmithing company. I went over and showed, showed him this and he asked how old it was and I said 14 days. <laughs> uh, we had a, a laugh and then we, we talked about the metal. He could tell all the pounding it had had. He could tell every stroke of the hammer. He could tell that the grooves in the back were made very well. He could tell that the pole was strong. And then I asked him, should I shine this up? Should I make it blank or shiny or a mirror polish? And he, he said, if you have such a beautiful tool, why do that to make it look cheap? And I'm not saying he said this was, was look cheap. And I'm not saying that if you have an axe with a blank pole that it looks cheap because I have one, I love it. 
but if you have something forged like this with a perfect pole no damage why ruin it so nothing except having Oliver sharpen this um, so I'm not sure if you're ne if the next video would be carrying this or if the next video would be carrying something else but I'll see you when it happens <laughs> could you imagine running into me trekking the trail hiking in here carrying if you saw my last video or the the video after this I don't know what I'm uploading first carrying a spare axe handle an axe head a small camp axe and a Tasmanian axe in my hand and a video tripod <laughs> people would think I'm mad but it's just me see you later boys and girls <laughs>